Hi, he's so fucking drunk here with yet another attempt at nail review. The ale I'm going to review tonight is a big ale. Uh, this is my landmark 100th ale review, believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to hit off with a, a big ale and it's uh, from Belgium. And it's uh, one that uh, apparently is quite a lot of people out there screaming about it. Uh, I have drank this in the past and I quite like it. And it is the Duvel. 8.5 on the Richter scale, nice wee short dumpy bottle. A lot of people would say not a very special ale well for your hundredth. Well, then again, that's what I like. So since it is my hundredth, actually, I think I'll go with a bigger bottle. After all, I'm so fucking drunk. 8.5 on the Richter scale. Uh, Duvel, Flemish, Belgium. Duvel, uh, Flemish for devil. Uh, apparently named Duvel after uh, one of the brewery bosses walked through the store one day and uh, one of the workers, I don't know if he was supposed to be drinking it or not, he came out with, that's a devil of a beer and he thought to himself, that's a great name for a beer, Duvel, devil, Flemish for devil. It's actually got a very very good history about it. Way back uh, two world wars in Europe, uh, in Belgium. Apparently, uh, Scottish beers were very, very big in the first two world wars. They were only beers, apparently, that got to the front lines, uh, which I thought that was an achievement in itself, especially in the war, First World War, Second World War. And then apparently the people at the, what was it called? The Moortgat Brewery, which brews Deville, uh, they hired a sort of university scientist to find out what kind of stuff was in the McEwen's export bank. In those days the bottles were uh, yeast fermented uh, and to keep them, to let them last longer and so this guy actually came up and found out what all the secret ingredients of uh, McEwen's was. Basically give his findings back to the brewery. They've came up with their, uh, their own brews. Uh, it was a fantastic story actually. So the Duvel was born, apparently he's been going probably say something wrong since the 1970s or something, I, I, I don't know. Something to do with, uh, he found out uh, what, what the, what the, what strains in the yeast extract the, the Scottish brewers used, so he could uh, implement it in his own brews in Belgium. Uh, I don't know if it was getting towards this, but it's got some sort of uh, connection to the brewery anyway, the Moort Gat. Probably someone out there will be able to help me with my pronunciation. Well anyway, that's enough babbling. Let's get on with that. It's a beautiful bottle. I like the, the cage. And uh, the wee Duval cap on it. So, I'll get this bad boy opened. Take the cage off it. You watch this actually. These things can be lethal in the wrong hands. Well, here we go. Let me see it. Get close up there now. Oh, look at that. Big smoky off that. I don't know if you saw it or not. I actually had this chilled for a while. And then I've taken it out of the fridge about, about 50 minutes before I was going to drink it. So it's still got a bit of chill in the bottle. Been dying to use this toy this tool for it, my big Duval glass, so it's uh, one of those beers, here's a pour, that you have to pour, pour very slowly, and you will lift that up a little bit, I love that, I love the way, it doesn't matter what way you pour this, you're always going to end up in a massive head on it. Look at that. That is an absolute thing of beauty. Just bring that up there and you can see it. Look at that. Nice tight bubbles. Plenty of uh, carbonation in it. Nice white head. Nice kind of, what can I say, like banana kind of type colour to it. Light banana. Beautiful stuff. So anyway, in here for the nose. See what I can come up with. I'm 
Well, you get a nice uh, smell of get a nice, nice sort of like kind of smell of pears. Very pears. Very very hoppy, hoppy kind of type smell to it. You can smell that. Oh, it's very, very fruity, but uh, pears seems to be the, the fruit that I'm picking up from it. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the glass of life in that. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, anyway, so freaking drunk. Uh, saying, Slangy Var, my 100th beer review. I've got a top of a beer for it. Well, I'll go again for the taste, if I can find my way through this head. So here we go. Firstly, what you're getting with that is you're getting a big, big smack of pear. Very, very ripe, juicy pear. Very bready, very, very biscuit. A nice biscuity shortcake. Kind of, oh, the pears. Oh, world class stuff here. You get a very hoppy beer, this for a start. But the nice citrus from the pears, the, the nice uh, sort of sweetness of the pear and there's a little bit of citrus in there as well with your biscuit and your sort of bready dough your nice uh, fresh baked bread taste coming through in that that is a top top notch beer I'm glad that I saved that for my 100th beer review that is a world class beer cheers to the guys at the Murkat Brewery I don't know if I'm pronouncing that or not properly that is a cocker of beer and uh, suppose like so, this is one that you would actually just uh, enjoy. As I said, I'll show you the size of the bottle again that I got. I got the big massive uh, 750ml bottle of Duval. Uh, tells you a little bit about the history of it and stuff like that at the back of it. Uh, established in 1871. Uh, topped up notch Belgian beer. If any of are out there and you're interested in trying different beers, uh, beers like so like a lot of craft beer drinkers always they'll have a dabble on the Belgian beers. I recommend this one first. Uh, there's a lot of people out there uh, that actually regard this as the best Belgian beer ever. I haven't drank a lot of Belgian beers, so I can't really compare. The ones I have drank have been good, but this is the best one I've drank yet. Uh, it is a top top notch beer so I'm gonna go, if you ever get a chance to see this and the big bottle I found it was in Waitrose and it was 4 88 for the bottle, almost 5 quid for the bottle but you can pick those, the wee dumpies of the Duvel you can pick those bad boys up for about I think the, the, most supermarkets are from £1.70 upwards which is fairly cheap as well so keep your eye out for them they're a top notch beer, if you're watching in different countries and it's a little bit dearer uh, to buy it, a little bit more expensive in Canada or America or even in Europe, uh, not much bang for your euros or whatever, uh, this is one that you would have to look out for, I recommend it, I really really do. So anyway I'm going to go in, back in again, have another drink of the Duval, it is a devil of a beer, that worker was right. Go back in here before I'll give you a, a final mark. So freaking drunk mark. That is, that is sublime. That is beautiful. And uh, if you're going to get it, do what I did. Invest in a Duval glass because you really need it for the nose. Beautiful for the nose. This glass is going to serve me well. Maybe I'm drinking my beers out of the wrong glasses. We've got a nice, what is it, brandy bowl, uh, tulip effect to it and it fits well for the nose. Well anyway, I'm going to give the Duvel, the Belgian Duvel, 
uh, top notch beer, 8.5 in the Richter scale. I'm going to give that Sofa King Drunk a rating of 9.9 out of 10. It's going to get a big mark from me. It is a beer, if you do see it, please buy it. Well, anyway, it's the Sofa King Drunk. Going to enjoy this and the uh, other half of that bottle. So, anyway, hopefully. Once again, you'll stop by and maybe join me again in another beer review. Slangy Va, take it easy.